day five and today I wanted to talk about the fact that what is interesting about being in the same relationship with the same person for so many years in the beginning I thought that to create change it would be much more complicated with the same person than with a new person right because what we're doing with the same person is not only do we have to disrupt the habitual ways of being it's also very difficult to do because you know we have, we've put each other in certain boxes and it's really really difficult to break out to really change the music to the dance to change the dance steps as well however what is what this vantage point is also giving me is that what I'm feeling to this person today is so dramatically different than what I was feeling to him, toward him even a few years ago. Um, I found myself unappreciated. I found myself unseen. I found myself taken for granted. I found myself probably, if you spoke to me then, maybe even abused in certain instances. I was shocked at how our relationship has deteriorated, in fact. So to find myself where I find myself today, to feel what I'm feeling again, the kind of appreciation and gratitude and everything that I find about him is, you know, like I often write, it's mind blowing even to me because I couldn't see this from where I was a few years ago. I just couldn't see it. And the reason why it all feels so incredibly different today is that I started looking at him, not as an enemy, but a human being just like me. When I started understanding that everything that I am is a product of my past, and that a lot of the things that are, you know, my patterns and things that possibly irritate him are my coping mechanisms. When I realized that we're all traumatized and knowing his family history, I know he's definitely traumatized, just like me. There is a kind of compassion because I understand that we are both just dealing with our inner world and expressing our inner world and so many of the things that used to irritate me and still do actually about my husband and some of the things that he does I realized today are his coping mechanisms these are the patterns that he's created that his ego has created when he was a child in order to survive so you know, when we, when we start understanding from that height of maturity and emotional, emotional maturity, but also that understanding of, you know, that, that, that compassionate stance that everything that I've been struggling with, he's struggling as well in his own way. He, you know, he, he may not even be aware of some of the things that, that he is working on now because he's not like me, he's not, you know, openly uh, changing sort of in a public eye. But we're both just dealing with our coping mechanisms and we're both, and each of us is trying to make sense of this life and the you know, cards we've been dealt and um, what our role roles are as a man, as a woman, as a, as a, you know, as partners, as co-parents, as cohabitors. We're just trying to make sense. Nobody is out to get each other. Yes, sometimes we can get angry and sometimes we we get upset and, and there is a knee-jerk knee reaction and sometimes we feel hurt. And yet every time today, because I'm, I've learned to be so honest with myself, I realized that 
all the things that I'm taking personally, they're not about me. He's just as locked in in his inner world as I am in mine. And he's just as experiencing his own inner suffering and pain and, and trauma as I do. And there is just the kind of softening that's happening from that realization for me. And the more I am becoming compassionate and calm and it doesn't mean that I don't have my reactions. I do have my reactions and sometimes I, I react and I am angry and I scream. But then also what happens is when I calm down and I understand what has happened because I've learned to process it, I'm able to apologize if I feel that it's needed or I'm able to bring that subject up again when we're both calm so we can talk about it more calmly. But basically what's happening more and more that I am witnessing in myself is that the more I am able to look at our relationship from that standpoint of, first of all, not, not entitled to anything, right? And so when, when I don't feel entitled to anything from him, I'm grateful for any kindness and any partnership that I am you know, lucky to have. And when I am in compassion to his processes, he responds to me differently. I'm no longer trying to criticize him. And even if sometimes I say something that may sound like criticism to him, and he may react to that, which actually happened just the other day, then I say, but, but I'm not criticizing. Actually, it's not about you, it's about us. What can we do together so this doesn't repeat again? And I think it just over these several years, it's just accumulated into, I think, his understanding that it's safe for him to be who he is in this relationship with me, that I'm not criticizing, that I'm not that parental voice that he used to react to. I'm not that person. I'm his partner, I'm his equal, we're in it together. We're a we rather than you versus me. So this is what's really coming up for me today. And um, it's, um, it's a big deal because I know that where I come from and where I was, I couldn't imagine that we would ever be friends again, you know? So to be in this relationship now with the way it feels now, it's, it's kind of a glorious place to be. It's, it's, it's extremely life affirming and it just points to the fact that anything is possible actually. So um, yeah, this is what's coming up for me today. I am a lot in this kind of what we send out is what we receive and our ability to be kind while in self-respect is everything. Because, you know, all those years when I felt unappreciated and taken for granted and unseen, a lot of it has to do with the fact that I didn't see myself and I didn't appreciate myself and I t took myself for granted when I started respecting myself, everyone else started respecting me as well, from my children to my husband. And those people that don't respect me, they're just not really part of my world anymore. And that's okay too, you know? So that's how change happens, actually. I no longer hold on to um, people who are not able to respect me. And it happens very naturally because I just, you know, my boundaries are not allowing anything else to go on. It just doesn't feel good or right. And, um, you know, some people, of course, uh, I want to work a little harder and, and put in a little bit more effort with, but others, you know, no. And it's up to each one of us to decide that for ourselves. But this is where I am today. I'm just kind of in an amazement at where I find myself in my, with my husband. And 
And it doesn't mean that this is happily ever after because life continues being life and who knows what's going to happen tomorrow. But there is a different appreciation of this whole process of relating that is available to me now. I'm just so happy to be able to share this. All right, see you tomorrow.